Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So let's just continue this video from where we left in the last video. So this video is all about uh, bioinformatics and computational biology. So let's just let's just get started. So this was the point where we left in the last uh, video. So we just talked about all of the examples and all of the historical basis related to computation for biology. So let's just move with this. So coming to more of the examples of computation for biology are so over the years many genes have been thoroughly studied in different organisms such as human, mouse, fly, rice, and their biological functions are explained as well. Also, computational scientists have developed computer programs to associate newly identified genes to genes with known functions. Also, I will explain all of the uh, developed computer programs which have been discovered till uh, date uh, and all of the methods for identifying new sort of G uh, every sort of genes and all of its known functions as well. And also existing methods can associate up to more than 60% of newly identified genes to genes with known functions. And now researchers only need to knock out genes with possibly relevant functions in their research for understanding of a particular biological process. All right, it's definitely even more time saving. So this, so let's talk about this, a change of paradigm. So numerous other large efforts to produce biological data in a systematic and high throughput manner. So it's through proteomic data production, metaboloid data production, and there are a lot many. All right, so we'll talk about, we'll talk about all of it just in minutes. All right, so talking about change in paradigm, so it's about genes and proteins for gene activity data for protein protein interaction gene uh, protein data protein structure data proteomic data metabolite data regulatory elements all of these we are able to identify with the bioinformatics through different tools i'll be explaining in the coming videos also enormous amount of biological information is hidden in these data and their inter data relationship all right so there are a lot of data. Also, I'll be explaining through practical examples and use of every sort of software that are related to bioinformatics and which and whenever we input any of the DNA sequence or a protein sequence, we get to know each functions are related to all of the base pairs involved in it. So moving on with this. So the driving force of bioinformatics or computational biology is the high throughput data production and high throughput measurement of technology and computation are changing way of doing biological science. So this is a great plus point, definitely a plus point. So with this, so what can computation do for biology? So coming with this, so evolution based computation. So deriving structural, functional and evolutionary, evolution, uh, evolutionary information. So these are very important functions that we derive from all of the biotechnology techniques. So and secondly, sequence alignment algorithm for detection of homologous function inference. So I'll be talking about sequence al alignment algorithms such as global and local alignment. Also multiple sequence alignment algorithm. So there are a lot many such as UPGMA, neighbor joining and many other. Also phylogeny, reconstruction algorithm, estimation of uh, evolutionary tree and making of phylogenetic tree and everything. Also protein threading algorithm, identifying of remote homologous uh, prediction of protein, uh, prediction of 3D structures. This is very important. All of these structures, the secondary, the primary, secondary, the tertiary. So also what can competition do for biology is multiple uh, protein sequence alignment. So this is some that is like very easy task for um, uh, computer programs and databases which are involved in this. So this is a formation of a phylogeny tree through a software. All right, so these are the inputted sequences and you just have to press enter and that's what you get. All of the sequences are aligned in the form of a tree. So I'll teach you how to make a tree as well. And also these contains conserved sites and hence are possibly fun. Can be functional sites as well. So these are some of the important points to note. Also when I'll be teaching, just, just keep a copy or a pen ready, a hand ready in your hand so that, so that you just don't miss out on any of the points. Also you can understand statistics based computation, discovering patterns in unstructured data, also computational methods for gene finding, recognition of distinguishing statistical features of coding regions from, from non-coding regions as well. 
I'm computational methods for promoter identification, recognition, and distinguishing features of promoter regions from non-promoter regions, and also for microarray gene expression data interpretation and identification of significant patterns in data set which are possibly associated with particular experimental conditions. So this are the whole number of like there are innumerable yeah, advantages for using these methods. So thus moving ahead uh, we find gene finding g chip data analysis photomic data analysis so these are some of the very much important functions so you can just uh, uh, like just uh, give a give it a glance or just remember one or two points so also we can get to know the molecular dynamics simulation metabolic pathway simulation yeah there's also uh, yeah that's databases and software so everything so so bioinformatics some support for modern biology so data storage management representation dissemination data interpretation for analytical instruments also for infrastructures for modern biology so moving on with this we have data interpretation databases in many number of databases as you can see your pdb report 3d motive pro motive cath pff scope tds grass so these all are uh, different sort of databases that are involved so moving on, there are also many uh, many softwares such as uh, Mega X and such as Omegle. All right. So, so coming to the research areas of bioinformatics, so I thought uh, this is a very important point when I was discussing the introductory part of bioinformatics. So going to categorization of the recent major informatics, uh, there are computational genomes, computational phylogeny and evolution, computational transcriptomics, uh, computational proteomics, structural bioinformatics. Computational inference, biological database, application of bioinformatics uh, to medicine, agriculture, and others, and fundamental uh, method for bioinformatics problem. So, coming to more, there are computational genomes such as identification of genes in a genome, also identification of regulatory elements such as binding sites of a gene, transcription of regulatory elements, splice factor blinding sites, and also prediction of geno genomic structures, operons, regulons in microbes and transposition elements, simple and complex repeats, prediction of gene function, comparative genome analysis, and like how many functions just you can just count. All right, also in computational phylogeny and evolution, we have inference of uh, evolutionary distance between organism, classification of organism, phylogenetic reconstruction, inference of horizontally transfer. And also in computational transcriptomics, we have prediction of uh, transcription regulation, elements and machinery, binding size, transcription regulators, interaction, detailed mechanism of transcription. And for analysis of microarray gene expression, we have interference of differentially expressed genes, interference of co-expressed genes. We have biomarker identification. We have disease selection, a lot many points. So talking about computational proteomics, we have protein sequence analysis, protein prediction of protein function, function classification, analysis of 2D gel data, identification of biomarker, analysis of mass spectrometry data, inference of protein activities, biomarker identification, and inter inference of post-transition modification on proteins. Coming to structural bioinformatics, like I know that it may bore you seriously, but uh, these are some of the points that he, that that are definitely important. I'm gonna teach them all of them. So prediction of protein structures, which can be secondary or tertiary. Also protein docking with other molecules. Simulation of molecular dynamics or protein structures. Trajectory of dynamics. RNA structure prediction. Drug design. A lot. Also. For computation inference of biological network and systems inference of metabolic pathway. Inference of regulatory networks, simulation of cellular behavior. Now coming to the some of the important parts that may interest you, such as major research and education centers are one of the most important websites that you will always have to use when you're studying bioinformatics is NCBI database. All right. So the home page provides you including gene bank and all of the functions. As you can see, this is a home page of this. So the version may be old, but this is what you can see from here on. All right. So moving so we can also search for EMBL. EMBL is very important as the full form stands is European Molecule Biological Directory and it has a number of tools and databases. So you can just look into this. All right. So you can just 
I'll go to this uh, URL. I'll just type in this by seeing this URL. I'll just type EMBL. Let's get back to this page. All right. So coming to Institution of System uh, Biology, which is ISB. So you can just uh, get as many information as you can see in this picture. Going on with this, we you can also get Computational Biology Institute of Oak Ridge National Lab. So you can get lots of information such as you can see here. Moving on this, we have major research and education centers. So these are all of the universities related with this bioinformatics top notch institutions. All right. Also talking about journals, so you can just give a read and just pause the video and just give a read if you want to. Right. So moving on, there are some other conferences as well. You can see here they are listed all of them. And thus talking about being a bioinformatician, you have to have molecular and cellular and evolutionary biological understanding. A computation and mathematical sciences also have must definitely master the technique and high throughput measurement technologies by knowing what biological data is obtainable all right so let's just uh, cover the summary whatever we have learned, learned uh, in this introductory session of uh, bioinformatics so computation is being an indispensable part of modern biology also high throughput measurement technologies and computation are helping fundamentally changing biological research and funding agencies worldwide are investing heavily into this field, new this field, and this rapidly emerging field needs many bright young minds to help to push the science forward. So these are basic, definite basic points to just read it out. So that's it from my video. I'll be coming with more other videos very soon on this topic. So stay tuned for more and thank you for watching.